Hi guys, it's Shami. So today we are going to learn how to make DIY stickers. So I love to use stickers, especially handmade ones that I made. I've been using them a lot in my planner. I'll just show you a few. So um, I use them here as a little border and then for my stars for last week's page and they're really fun and they're simple to make. Um, what I do, but you don't have to do this, is I go to the dollar store and they have all these different shapes of labels. They're Polaroid ones, but you can go to any office supply store um, and get a pack of these. They're like three or four dollars. Um, you could even get the big sticker sheets and then just use your punches and punch them out. But I really love the convenience of these hand painted stickers. They're really fun to use. And I will have links um, to my Amazon, to Amazon too, um, of some of of the of these labels that I use. Sorry, oh, I'm tripping over my words today. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. So I just cut some out. So they come in sheets. I'll just show you so you can see like this. And all I did was just cut them into smaller pieces. Okay, so there's a couple ways that I paint these up. Okay, I'm going to just do these two on camera for you to see. Um, I just select usually about three colors is what I do. So I'm going to put this down. And this is a just a selection of all sorts of paints that I have um, lying around. There's a good mix. I did use some of my Americanas too. Uh, yeah, but just a good paint, a good, you know, variety of paints. And then I'm just going to take a sponge. This is just a sponge that I got from the dollar store. And I just like to apply color. Now, if you didn't have this, you could use like um, a credit card, and that would work great too, or a scraper or anything like that. Um, I like the sponge because uh, I just kind of want to add a bunch of colors. So that's all I do is kind of just scrape it down. And it's okay if it's not fully covered. I just find a new spot for my sponge. And, you know, just be a little bit cautious about the colors that you mix together and that kind of thing. But um, it's all good. I mean, acrylic paint dries super quick. So just kind of paint it up a little bit. And if you wanted to, you could absolutely use a paintbrush or your fingers, too. I'll use my fingers a little bit. And the paint goes on a little differently depending on which kind of tool you use. So add a little bit of orange there. So you just kind of paint them up. This one has a lot of colors, a lot more than I normally use, but it's pretty. Alrighty, and then we can do another one too. So let's do, I really love purple and blue is my favorite, but this is a really cool, pretty berry color. So let's try that. And what would go good with that? This beautiful yellow. I love yellow too. Okay. And I don't know if that berry one has much, oh yeah, doesn't give much color. Probably because I didn't shake it up, but we're going to add what we have on there first. And then, and then I can go in with another color. But you can use your fingers too, or the sponge, or a credit card, whatever your preference is. Okay, and let's shake this up a little bit more. There we go. That's the way it should look. <laughs> That's better. Okay. And these are super fun to make. This is a star shape. Um, but I just love making these stickers. And the fact that you can get them at the dollar store is just really awesome. And they have a lot of really cool shapes. So you'll just let that dry. And so on and so forth. You'll just keep decorating them until you get as many as you want. So these are some that I did before. So these are the ones that I painted up. I used some neons with this one, etc. Just really cool. Okay, so let's, then I'll show you my next step. So what I do is I get out my white paint. Next. Okay. And then I get out a makeup sponge. I'm gonna open a new pack here. And then I just get out some basic stencils that I have. And um, that's what I'm going to use, okay? So, I have this, Punchinella, and then I have these stencils that I got from Walmart that are small shapes. Um, that's what I like to use um, for this kind of project. So let's do some of the Punchinella first. 
and I will link that to you if you're interested in getting that. Um, you can get it super cheap on eBay, like you can get a whole bunch for a few dollars. But you could, if you didn't have these kind of stencils, then you just use the things that you have around your house. Like you can use netting or rubber bands or whatever basically will make an impression and that would work great too. So that's great. And if you wanted to, you could add black. Okay. But I like that one as it is. Let's crack this one and let's do a different shape here. Maybe we'll do, let's do some squares. And this one is star shape. I'm just going to do some gentle stenciling here. And if you want to, you could even add some color. So that's kind of where I bring in my metallics. So this has purple in it. So let's use a purple metallic paint. Or we could even use, let's use that pretty color. That'd be great too. Let me grab another little one here. Okay. So let's grab... Let's use the circles, the punchinella, okay, just like that. And I don't know if this one's going to show up that well, but it will be really pretty. It'll give it that really pretty sparkle. Oh, that does. See how pretty that is? Do you see that? And it just kind of shines and sparkles. Okay, and then we can do another one. Let's do this one. That one's really bright and pretty. So again, we're going to grab it and let's do, maybe let's do some small hearts. Or maybe actually I look kind of like the flowers. Let's do the flowers. But you just want it to be kind of a fairly small stencil. And these are great. They're only three dollars at Walmart. So it's a great value and you get a lot of different shapes. This is really good if you're just starting out with mixed media because you can do a lot with it. So that's the way that one looks. But I want to add another color. So I think maybe I'm going to add some of this neon orange. And I don't know how well it's going to show up, but it'll be there. Okay. And I'm just going to push my sponge over and add. See that? See how pretty that is? Okay. We can even go in with this yellow since I have that on my mat. But you just kind of have to be careful with the yellow because, yeah. So that's how that one looks. But they're really interesting, right? And then um, we can do a neon one really quick. Uh, maybe let's do some sea aqua. I hope you guys are having a good week. Sorry I wasn't able to do the live show this week. I just did not feel good. Like my stomach was hurting. It was just not a good day. I think it's because it's so hot that it's just messing with me right now. So yeah. So I just did not feel like it. But we'll definitely be up for it tomorrow, uh, the next week. Yes. And I'll have to do a vlog. It's been a while since I've done one and I wanted to start doing one more consistently. So see that just has dots on it. Okay, so then you're going to let those dry just for a few minutes and once you let them dry, then we're going to do some stamping. Okay, so just grab your background stamps and so your waterproof ink. I'm using Stays On. This was a gift from a subscriber. Thank you, Sherry. And um, yeah, and you're just going to kind of add just, you want to use just background stamps. You could use images and that'd be great too, but I really like the background stamps, right? I'm gonna bring it in a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. And I'm just randomly adding them like that. Maybe we'll add one over here, just like that. And it just adds another layer on top, okay? And then I just clean it off right on my paper here, which this is construction paper. But you can use anything as drop paper. And I'm going to have a video about that too. 
because I get asked that question a lot. And like, this is just a piece of, um, that I got from the dollar store. It's just a silicone pot holder. And you could even use that. So let's use that on this one, it's pretty dot one. And I just want a little bit of stamping in every label. So that looks really cool. All right, and then let's do, we can do maybe some letters here. This one I got at $2 at Michael's. It's like type, typewriting. Actually, I think it was Hobby Lobby. And this one probably won't show, oh, it shows up beautifully, actually. I love this, actually. Look at that. So that one looks pretty awesome. Right. And then this is another one that I got in Happy Mill that we'll use. This came from Fabulous Low. Thank you. I'm so glad I said your name right. I'm so terrible with names, but... And thank you so much for your Happy Mail. It's so beautiful. Very good. Okay, so just like that. So once you're done with that, you'll just let them sit for a couple minutes, and then you're just going to seal them. So I'll show you. Like these, I already brushed. Okay. Alrighty, so you'll just... And then these are two that I made earlier. Alrighty. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab whatever kind of glossy, this, I'm gonna use the Eileen's Glitter Decoupage. And I found this again at Hobby Lobby on clearance for like a dollar. Um, and I'm just gonna kinda push it on there. But you could use a glossy, um, just kind of a glossy finish is what I like, or even a satin finish. So you could use Mod Podge, you could use Deco Page, kind of whatever you want to use. I love this because it gives it kind of a glittery kind of finish, which I love. I love glitter, so yeah. I like that sparkle, so this is perfect for me. So you're just going to give it a brush, just like that, and then you'll let it dry, and then these are protected too. And I really love... Um, brushing them with this because it makes the paint pop a little bit more. It's not as flat. So I usually sell my work because I love it um, not to be flat. So I love it to kind of have a glossy or even a satin finish is fine. This is more satin than glossy, but it does have the glitter. So then you'll just let that dry. And what you end up with is this. Okay, and I just want to kind of show you the difference. So this is the one that we did earlier, and I used basically the same colors, but this is really matte, okay? And that would look great too for a project, but um, I just love that finish. And what I like to do, just to remind myself that they're stickers and so that I feel like they're stickers, what I do is I just peel off the coating. Let's see here, hopefully I can do it on this one. and I just hold kind of the shape of my label and this is the way I store them so then I can really look at them really really well and they look like stickers to me <laughs> rather than labels they're really fun okay, and you just have to be careful but they're fine and they store great but isn't that pretty? And then I can see kind of how to incorporate them in projects, but they're really pretty. And then this, I just add to my drop paper. So, yeah, so I just kind of stick it down. I don't let this go to waste either. Or if I'm working on a project or something, then I will totally use this or put it on parchment paper to use it in another project. It's like, don't waste your scraps. You can always use them for something. They'd be great on ATCs, whatever. And then let's do this one too. So we're just going to kind of do the same thing. And these are just regular office labels. I mean, I'm sure if you, you know, have a home office or whatever, you probably already, oops, oh no. Okay, well, I'm going to leave that alone because it doesn't have much of an edge. <laughs> and I just tore that one, but we'll use it for something. <laughs> But that's how that one looks. So, so on and so forth. You just let them dry and you're ready to go. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you make some of these super simple stickers. I did get the labels at the dollar store, but I will link where you can order them online for really cheap. 
or um, you can kind of go to an office supply store and that'd be great too and you will see these in an upcoming planning project I'm sure so hopefully you check out my planning videos and um, hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys on Sunday for plan with me and then I'll have a fresh new video for you on Monday okay guys I love you so much and thank you so much for all your love and support you guys are the best and I truly appreciate you so I will see you in a little bit bye bye have a great weekend hugs